scrapbookers this is Megan and I am back today with my third layout for the scrapbooking store kit club so here you can see I have decided to use these two four by six photos of my three children sitting with Santa and this was I believe 2015 so Tinian was five Brennan was nine nine yeah, nine and Jonas was 10 or 11. I think he was 11. Um, so this was an interesting photo shoot that I did for my kids. I hired this Santa Claus guy to come out. It cost 75 bucks to do it. And, um, these are some of the best photos that came out of it. Jonas was actually sick on this day, but the Santa I had hired said he wouldn't give me a refund if we had to reschedule. Like, he would charge me an extra $75. And I was like, are you f f effing serious? Like, I was very frustrated because Jonas was not feeling well that day. But you wouldn't know it based on these smiles. Like, I know it because I know Jonas and I know, like, his grimace face <laughs> versus his smile. So they're still cute and he does smile good. Like, the top smile is definitely a Jonas smile. The bottom smile is a, eh, I'm ready to be done smile. <laughs> I don't feel good smile. Um... So this collection is the Say Cheese Christmas collection from Simple Stories, which I love the papers and everything, except the element of Disneyland and Mickey doesn't really apply to me because it's been like probably 30 years. Well, not 30, maybe like 25 years since I've been to Disneyland and I've never been to Disney World so I know gasp right how dare I be an American <laughs> and not go to Disneyland and spend thousands upon thousands of dollars for my children to enjoy something that they'll never remember no I'm just kidding anyway I know it's a huge thing in America and maybe it's a huge thing everywhere else because I know they have Disneyland's in like what Tokyo and Par Paris is it Paris I don't know anyway it's not something that we have ever done with our kids and we're okay with it I used to love Disneyland but I feel like it is very much um Disney is taking advantage of people with how much they charge and it's just ridiculous. So yeah, I'm not going to support them. I like Disney. I like their movies and I'll support their movies, but I'm not going to support, you know, the other stuff they do. So the first idea I had was, um, I need to cover up the castle. I like the fireworks though. So I'm trying to figure out a way to cover up the castle and not the fireworks. So at first I'm thinking, okay, well maybe I could just layer these here. Of course that doesn't work because the castle is too big. So then I think maybe I'll just cover up that whole side. No, I don't really like that. I do like the blue color of that pattern paper with the banners on it. And I considered maybe embellishing with the Santa stickers that came in the upgrade kit. So I'm going to cut off the banner, but then when it comes to cutting into this piece of paper, I just couldn't do it because I really liked the banner. And then on the other side, it had a ton of fireworks and I really liked that too. So I was like, okay, no, I'm not going to cut into that paper. So what I decided to do is I pull over the four by four elements, um, pattern paper and I cut out this Hey Santa 4x4 card. And I thought this was perfect. So I decided to use that to cover up the whole castle. And it works out amazing. And that's actually going to work as my title as well. So I'm going to embellish this Hey Santa card with this cute little Santa from the upgrade kit and I'm going to use my close to my heart pomegranate ink 
and I am going to ink the edges of this Hey Santa card as well as I'm going to ink the edges of the photo mat. And um, with the photo mat, you can't tell as much, but I still kind of like that tone on tone effect that you get with it because you still can kind of see it. So this little pouch to the right is how I store my um, little, what are they called? Um, blending pads. I actually found out about an Etsy shop and I'm totally drawing a blank. What is it called? It is called Design Creative Bling. Um, and I was turned on to this Etsy shop by Sandy Reversky, who is also known as State Goddess. And it is the perfect contraption to store your little um, blending pads because they're not just flying everywhere in your drawer and then you have to like flip through all of them and try to figure out which one is the right color. Yeah, no. Um, I should actually sit down and show you guys how I have it organized. I don't know if Sandy organizes hers the same as I do mine, but I really, really love this way of organizing um, my little blending pads. It's really awesome. Here you can see I am embellishing. I'm just finishing up the embellishing actually. I added a tree to the bottom left of the layout and a stack of presents. I added the words ho 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 next to the Hey Santa card and then I did some stars and believe in magic and that cute little candy cane to the top right of the bottom photo. I'm also going to cut out another Christmas tree to add just another embellishment layer in the bottom left hand corner and then I'm going to do my journaling. I am going to journal with my white jelly pen and my journaling is just going to say despite the fact that Jonas wasn't feeling well he was a trooper during the family photo shoot. It was fun having Santa come and take photos with the kids. I love their big smiles. And that is it for this layout. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this process. Also, make sure if you're not a member of the Scrapbooking Store Kit Club that you sign up today using my link below because it's an awesome kit club. They come out with some really great kits and upgrades that are affordable. And that's what I love about this kit club. It's actually affordable and you don't spend hundreds of dollars every month. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.